So got sent out here to a call. These are some new train units here and they do have the Symbio controller. Which is right there. And I don't know if you've ever experienced this, but there's a way to do this here where you can use your phone. Now granted, yeah, exactly. Somebody didn't do the greatest job with the wiring here, but whatever. So you can do, you can actually use your phone and you see down here, there is a Bluetooth button right there. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm gonna pull up on my phone. Take it out of the sunlight here. So you can you go to the Symbio app, which right here. So this is the Symbio app, and it says enable your Bluetooth, which I'll turn on. Okay. All right, it's ready. So the next thing you would do is you press the Bluetooth button, right? You'll see a blue flashing light and it'll say waiting. Come over here, hit the refresh button. And then it's gonna show up and it's gonna use the model serial number. Hey, see, 23, 27, 47, 62 TA. And you can see that's it. That's this unit. So I'm going to just click that. And then, bam, brings up everything. Shows you your serial number so you can verify the unit that you're working on. You can see it's showing all the outputs and, and inputs. Okay, you can go over here to tools. And so here's what the problem was when I showed up. See where it says unit auto stop. I found it in stop and I don't know why it was in that way, but whatever. That's neither here nor there at this point. And I believe that that's all the problem is. It's it's only 60, degree, 60 degrees inside, so I'm not uh, running the cooling now, and it's only 50 degrees outside if we're lucky. So, But I just wanted to do a little quick video on this. So you, you can hit surface test mode right here, right? And you can literally start turning stuff on. So the fan is already on, but watch. I'll hit cool. Sorry, I'm trying to look through the phone and do this. But... Shut it back off. You can literally do that with your heating, your cooling, the whole nine. It gives you tons of ability here you can see a lot of different things you can configure the unit from here you hit view configuration kind of gives you the rundown these are cooling only with electric heat and it's able to recognize all that and if you wanted to change anything you would hit the uh, edit button and then it does give you a warning configuration options may be restricted based upon the yeah, blah 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 so this is a CV this is constant volume you can change that if you want 
to variable volume, constant volume. You get the idea. You set up the time. I mean, the whole nine, really. It's uh, Now, you could do a lot of this from the controller as well, but... It's kind of uh kind of nice to do and see things from your phone you know especially if it's a crappy rainy day and you could park close by you can do all this from from inside your vehicle <laughs> and these are uh each 20 tons so we have 40 tons of uh hey we have 40 tons of cooling available and this is uh Y1 and this is uh, Y2 and you can break it up even farther if you'd like um, <clears throat> anyways I'm gonna go ahead and get out of this just thought it was uh, kind of cool something different to show I know some guys have experience with Symbio some guys don't um, this is actually the first one that I've ever got to touch, but I did, uh, I did take the class on it before, so I am, uh, I am aware of how it operated before I had done anything, and, uh, so it was fairly easy to, you know, do what I needed to do. And that'll be the end of that. Happy HVACing.